In this video, I would like to teach about conic sections. Conic sections are basically a set of curves that we can obtain by sectioning a right circular cone by a plane. So here I will show you uh, this is a cone that I have made by cutting a paper. So, so this is a right circular cone. So here the base is circular and the, the axis which passes through this is perpendicular to the base and this is known as apex and these are generators line joining the apex to any place on the circumference of the base is generator. So this is generator apex the axis and the base. So this is a cone and if we section the cone by a plane so I will use this paper to represent the plane so if we section the cone by a plane then we obtain some curves and these curves are known as conic sections so for example if the cone this is right circular cone and if we section by a plane which is perpendicular to the axis so the axis goes vertical is vertical and this is perpendicular to the axis then what we are going to get is a circle so if this plane cuts the cone then you can imagine that the plane will pass like this and we will obtain a circle so So this kind of curve we will obtain. So this is circle. So depending upon at what point we are cutting, the size of the circle will depend on the position of the plane. But in all cases, it will be a circle. In any kind of cone, if you take the projection of the cone, it is a triangle. And this angle is defined as 2 alpha. So alpha is the half angle of the cone. And in the case of circle, we obtain circle when the plane was cutting this way. So the plane was perpendicular to the axis. So this angle, theta. So theta is 90 degree. Then we obtain a circle. Now if we imagine, so this is the projection of the cone. This is alpha. If we cut this cone in a way that the cutting plane is like this and this angle which is theta. So if theta is greater than alpha then the shape we will obtain is called ellipse. So in this case so the cutting plane will not cut the base but it will cut all the generators so it will create an ellipse so for example here if we incline this plane in a way that the theta theta is greater than alpha then this plane will cut all the generators and it will create an ellipse as you can see so after cutting we will obtain an ellipse. Now, as we know, circle is a special case of ellipse. An ellipse has uh, two diameters, the, the major axis and the minor. So, when the major axis 
and the minor axis are equal, then it is a circle. So we can consider circle a special case of ellipse. So for circle, A is equal to B. So therefore, sometimes circle is just considered a part of the ellipse. The other conic section we can obtain by sectioning cone is the first one is called parabola. So the parabola is obtained when this cutting plane cuts in a way that the plane is parallel to one of the generator. So these are the generators. So if this cutting plane is parallel to one of the generator, then in that case, so in that case, it will produce a parabola. And in this situation, so this is the projection of the cone. So in fact, the cutting plane will be parallel to the generator. So in this case, you will see that the cutting plane will cut the generators and also it will cut the base of the cone. So if it's cutting like this, it will pass through, it will cut many of the generators and also it will cut the base. It will cut the base of this. So this will produce a parabola. So parabola is also considered as conic section. The third conic section that we can obtain is when we have two cones. So one cone and one cone is right on top of this one touching the apex and it, they have a common axis. So one cone is here, you can imagine, and one cone is on top. So when there are two cones this way, which we can draw in the form of projections, like a two triangle on top of each other. So this is one cone, and this is another cone. So if a plane cuts through both the cones, then we obtain a hyperbola. And this is achieved when and this is achieved when theta is less than alpha. So in this case, you will see that this cutting plane, which is passes, passing through this, will cut both the cones and their bases. When theta is equal to zero, that means it is this way, but this cutting plane must not pass through the apex. So this is one of the condition that this cutting plane must not pass through the apex of these two cones. So when theta is zero, that means it is parallel to the axis. So if it is parallel to the axis, but away from the apex, Then also it gives a hyperbola and this hyperbola is known as rectangular hyperbola. So for example, so hyperbola comes as a set of two curves.
So basically, the conic sections are the ellipse, the parabola, and the hyperbola, and circle is part of ellipse. When we section a cone, if we section in such a way that the plane passes through, a, through the apex, so if the plane passes through the apex, and it cuts through the generator and the base, in this case, this section will be an isosceles triangle. A triangle whose two sides are equal. But this is not considered as conic section. So the conic sections are only ellipse, circle is part of ellipse, parabola and hyperbola.